you know, once a time, a fucking Chicago Blue, Chicago fans thought that Jay Cutler was going to be a great quarterback. But come on, the man's thrown 22 interceptions. Did you know he also wears women's panties? The Bears suck. MixtapeRadio.net Dosing MCs out here. Yeah. I look out with the tones out, Charles Bronson. Sniper with that rifle, leave his face like a dolphin. OD, you know me, yellow tape caution. Wash his blood off with that leaf of 2000. Who wants some gunplay out? Awesome. A call a spade a spade. Bullet kings running the boss. Four rugas, two shooters like before they traded Walker. Hit you when you tipple from the arc like. What's up, your boy B Moray is online. Back at everybody. Bears hate week. No big hatred between Chicago and Baltimore. I got family up there in Chicago. Got friends up there in Illinois. So, you know, you can't be hating on Chicago too much. They're a great football team. They're kind of similar to Baltimore. Have up and down seasons. But guess what? This Sunday, m and Bank Stadium, home of the Baltimore Ravens, home of the Ray Lewis and company, uh, they're coming to town. You know, for some reason, NFC teams don't have a good day in Baltimore, but we'll have to wait and see. Um... Like I said, give a shout out to Super Die Hard and uh, Drunken Cellgator, other Chicago Bears fans. I'll leave them in the, in the sidebar. You know, two great guys, make some great videos. It's going to be a fun week. Not a lot of hate between these two teams, but it's going to be a fun week. Um, addressing the haters real quick, talking about how the Bears have beaten this team. Who the fuck have you beaten, Hot Shot? You beat the Seahawks, uh, the Rams, the Browns, the Lions, and the Steelers. Come on now. We haven't beaten anybody big either, but at least we don't sit here and run our traps about it. So, zip it. <laughs> okay, so look, um, you know, Chicago's got some good players on their team, uh, some outstanding players. Uh, the one thing I love about Jay Cutler, and I'm going to tell you a little story here. One thing I love about the boy is when he feels the pressure, he throws that ball like it's his uh, last lifeline. So, you know, when you, when you pressure the guy, you get to him, it's funny as shit. Um, but he's still a good quarterback, you know. You don't pressure him. You let him throw downfield. You're in trouble. You know they got some great guys up there too: Johnny Knox, Matt Forte, Devin Hester. Um, you know some great guys up there on that team. Their defense. You know it's a shame that Brian Urlacher ain't playing, but uh, their defense is crazy as well. You know you got uh, Alex Brown. He's fucking crazy. Defensive end Lance Briggs up there, offensive linebacker. Don't forget Charles Tillman, cornerback. You don't know where those guys are, you're in trouble. Joe Flacco, watch your back. Um, but all together, Chicago's got a good football team. They're unbalanced every you know couple years, like the Ravens, but they're a good football team. You give them their props. Okay, so look, Baltimore is on a roll right now. They're on a super fucking roll. Uh, seven and six, trying to make it to that last AFC wild card spot. Uh, they're playing great football. Their defense is starting to step up again. Get Getting back to being that hard-hitting, organized chaos, one and only kind of Baltimore football we all, you know, have come to know and love. Uh, so hopefully it's, it's coming back around. It's slowly coming back around. But the, the one thing I love to see, and this is why I think that uh, Greg Madison listens to YouTube, everybody's saying, you know, forget forget the older town. Put some young town in there. Put some young town in there. He didn't do it in the beginning, but now he's starting to do it. You know, Tom Zabilkowski, Elder B, um, you know, or Darius Webb is fucking crazy in the backfield. Chris Carr. Um, just so much young talent on our football team. And, and the older town as well. Trevor Price, Jared Johnson, um, Ray Lewis, Terrell Suggs, Ed Reed, DeJuan Landry, younger town, uh, and Paul Kruger. So that defense is getting back to being a little mix of older, newer, and it's working out great for Baltimore. You know, they're getting to the quarterback, they're getting that pass rush back, getting in the backfield uh, faster. That's great, you know? Um... The offense, Joe Flacco, he's looking a little bit better now in that game against Detroit, um, but he still needs to improve a little bit. Uh, he's got like 15 touchdowns this year, um, but he's throwing 11 interceptions. So you know we gotta work on that, Joe. 
Ray Rice is a fucking monster, a monster. Um, averaging like 5.4 yards per carry. Um, you know, that dude is just fucking crazy. He has like over 600 yards in receiving. Um, dude is, Ray Rice is a fucking character. He's a monster. He's the future of this team. And we're getting that three-headed monster back. Hopefully we use it more in uh, Wills McGahee, Leron McClain. Um, receiving is looking good. Derek Mason. Uh, and Derek Mason shown last night against the Detroit Lions that ain't nobody going to stop him from getting that touchdown. Todd Heap, um, you know, just Demetrius Williams. I mean, everybody. Just everybody in the receiving court. Everybody on the rushing court. Just amazing. Amazing. Can you believe Jared Johnson right now has six sacks on the season? You know, we're not, you know, top defense in the NFL, but we will retain our values. We'll get it back, plain and simple. Uh, offense is looking good, and, uh, you know, as long as we can run and, and pass that ball, <laughs> we're going to the playoffs, motherfuckers. I got to cut down on cussing a lot. I'm Joe. Be more Ravens online. Go Ravens. Beat them Bears.